James Kaufman, World News Report today, September 3rd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Noah and NASA are claiming that we've had a major far side solar flare explosion and associated coronal mass ejection. Earlier today, about 800 UTC time, September 3rd, 2024, something exploded on the far side of the sun. It was a big one, they said. Soho chronographs detected a bright halo coronal mass ejection flying almost directly away from Earth. Although the blast was hidden on the backside of our sun, and the coronal mass ejection is not headed towards Earth, the explosion nevertheless touched our planet. Earth orbiting satellites detected a surge in energetic particles striking our atmosphere. Let's take a look. NOAA and NASA are pointing to this event right here about 800 UTC time. Now we were already headed towards a proton storm. You can see that via the red line. We are currently in a polar cap absorption event from the blast that occurred on the incoming limb that was generated by now named sunspot AR3813. That was on September 1st, as you can see. Now our GO satellite is picking up a surge in protons. More energized particles are hitting our GO satellite, thus impacting Earth from this backside eruption. This must have been a very large one. The particles were scooped up and accelerated throughout the entire solar system by a shock wave in the expanding coronal mass ejection. A shortwave radio blackout is underway inside the Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle as a result of their ionizing effect. We're in a polar cap absorption event, ladies and gentlemen, ongoing for the last 72 hours. NOAA and NASA continue. This is a NASA model. This is the NASA Goodard Spiral. The true target of this explosion, Europe's solar orbiter, or SOLO, is on the opposite side of the sun and squarely in the crosshairs of this CME, or coronal mass ejection. A NASA model seen here predicts that the coronal mass ejection will wash over the spacecraft on September 4th, around 1200 UTC time. SOLO sensors have already detected a hundredfold increase in energetic particles a value that could increase even more as the coronal mass ejection approaches. This very well could have been a lights-out incident if it were to have been Earth-facing. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World.